Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, an optical subject. We're going to do my version of the Celtic Cross. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 11th house, this could be for you. You know the drill. Thank you for all the support, however it comes. Very much appreciated. Um, cross watches, you're more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Uh, including the website link for private reads, which have reopened now that I'm back. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's everything. Um, I've said to every other Zodiac so far, so I will continue for you guys as well as Pisces. The main focus of this energy for the rest of this month is the conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. The planet of expansion hits the planet of you're ruled by them, uh, Uranus, which is expect the unexpected, uh, the great liberator, the great awakener. So anybody's guess. Uh, and it's all happening in your fourth house. So the fourth house is um, it's the home, it's the family, it's the, the mother, the moon, the um, feminine line. It's also linked to the past. So there could be some sort of like big changes in those themes or there could be something that comes up from the past um to be released maybe perhaps um but this could be house moves it could be um changes in regards to feminine energy it doesn't have to be a feminine person but somebody that embodies feminine energy whether that's a mother grandmother female boss or, or, or feminine energy boss who knows uh any aspect like that could could be under um um potential change so let's do two i'm hearing good riddance um okay so this is a kind of a paradox butterfly effect good riddance so green day's song good riddance is also called time of your life and there's the paradox interesting one more Aquarius, what's going on? We have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a transition. It's moving away from conflict. Good riddance. Uh, but the Six of Swords allows us to accept what is and move forward. And it could be like literal Six of Swords is movement. So this could be a physical house move, maybe. Like I say, the fourth house. Um, it's also Mercury in... Um, in Aquarius, so the magician meets the star card. The magician is the energy of this conjunction. Because in the, herb, the herbal astrology, magician represents ginseng, and ginseng is represented by Uranus and Jupiter. Uh, it's master manifesting. So whatever's going on, it, you're transitioning away from something here. Um, it could be a literal, uh, I won't say literal, uh, I mean, it, it could be, you know, that at the end of the day, um, you know, we have to live in the 3D world and not everything lasts forever. So there could be transitions, literally. But it could also be a situation here where um, there's a, a metaphorical sort of um, death, rite of passage, I want to say. That's probably the worst, best way to put it. Uh, and it's, it could just be leaving the past in the past with that fourth house energy. Crossing you, yeah, is death. This is a literal um, transformation here, death and rebirth. Putting something to bed. Root of the matter. Yeah, recent past. What you want. What's coming in. I'm not going to lie to you guys, you've got a bit of a tumultuous energy, but it's going to lead, I, I guarantee you, when we get to the outcome, it's actually amazing. Um, but I feel like there's turbulence until we get there. You know, the Six of Swords is 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 moving towards calmer shores, but it's towards, that means you're going through the bumps. Um, you know, at the end of the day, on any, any boat journey when it comes to, you know, leaving the shore, you always have to get through the breaking of the waves. And this feels like the breaking of the waves. It, we've got very specific uh, astrological movements here which i'll explain when we when we go through it how you see yourself how others see you 
advice and potential outcome fantastic absolutely i knew it i knew your outcome was going to be absolutely amazing fantastic absolutely beautiful and what would top this off even more is if the bottom of the deck is the sun it's not going to be but it won't be far i'm sure temperance just as nice Temperance is Shisandra, it's balance. King of Swords, the Hermit, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Strength, Page of Pentacles, Illumination, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. I will be looking for the sun in a second, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, right, you are on the path to wonderful, wonderful outcome. There's just a transition that needs to get there. So there's a definite change in the air. You know, like I say, the good riddance time of your life, it suggests an energy here of, hey, whatever this was, you know, uh, was either great or maybe carried pain. But in hindsight, it's um, it, it's suggesting whatever this is, is completely necessary. It's like a butterfly effect, you know. Um, and this doesn't have to be endings of relationships or anything like that. But I'm just going to give you an example here. Um, and it makes sense now that I read it this morning. Um, always tends to happen that if uh, I'll see something and it comes into play in the readings. Um, I, I have no idea who put it, so I, I apologise. But there was talking about the... It, it's hindsight. Um, and the woman was talking about how her partner had broke up with her the day before her uh, like exams uh, we'll, we'll say university exams um i don't know it was uh, it was it was the ones before university so um whatever that is a levels for us in uh, in the uk um but sp split up with um um the partner the day before and ended up just crying throughout the um exam failing it uh, and in doing so she failed to get into her first choice university so had to take her second choice university what she got in through points ended up meeting the love of her life traveling the world extremely happy which would never have happened had she gone in aced that exam got to her first choice university now i'm not saying anything you know I, I believe for a lot of you, this energy of, of the chaos has already happened and there's going to be maybe a reminder of the past and it's going to show you either reflection of how far you've come or um, it's going to be a, a case of this current transition. For a lot of you, this is this is reflection. For some of you, you're going to be going through a, a, a bit of a, a breaking of the waves. Um, but all I want you to know is the butterfly effect of this. In, in, in hindsight, you're going to look back and you're going to see why or the necessary. You know, time will always show you that things were necessary, whether it's a case of growth, lessons, um, or to align you to something wonderful, which is what's happening here. So we've got six of swords. We've got death crossing. Root of the matter, the three of swords. Three of swords is... is it's, it's pain, it's unpleasantness. There's not two ways about it. There's, it's, not, it's not a good energy. However, recent past is the hangman. Now the hangman is a card of surrender, but the hangman is also in the Osho Zen Tarot. It's um, new vision. It's a new perspective. So this is why I say for a lot of you, this has already happened. You're just now looking at it in a very different light. It's like, it could be you're just feeling compassion for maybe either yourself or not necessarily compassion for anybody that's betrayed you in any way. But you, you, you're happy it happened because of where it's leading you or you will be eventually. You're going to get to that point. What's, what you want is the Ten of Cups. You want that happiness. Um, but it's also telling me here you want you want a shift in your life because Ten of Cups is Mars in Pisces, so the tower hits the hangman. So you want some sort of shake up, maybe the stagnancy in your life at the moment. You want something new and and um, and liberating. It's also like I say, Mars in Pisces. Mars is currently in Pisces, 
What's coming in is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is Mars in Aries, which is the next sign that Mars moves into. So you might have Mars in your um, uh, in Aquarius or you, you might have a strong Mars position. But there's something here that seems to be, there's a shake-up that's happening. Mars in, Mars in Aries is the tower hits the Emperor. So this could be a shift in terms of um, stepping into a masculine energy of yourself, you know, setting if you've neglected that masculine aspect of yourself where we where we have production we have uh, set solid foundations we set things in place we try and build um you know maybe stuff like that is getting shaken up how you see yourself is the nine of swords nine of swords is a card of there's a nervousness about you for some reason and i think the nervousness is you know there's something coming that's like you know it's time for some sort of um shift of energy and again we've got three cards in a row ten of cups mars two of wands mars nine of swords mars in gemini mars 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 tower 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 lots of shifts energetic shifts and again like i say you you guys are ruled by uranus so uranus rules the um the electricity the nervous system so there's something that is kind of getting you on edge here how others see you and i kind of feel like this is the universe as well but we've got judgment death and rebirth i, I believe you're going through a shift of uh, transition it's like reputation restored or something like that there's something that's just just liberating is probably the best way to put it liberating your advice is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. Um, it's Venus energy as well. So you're being asked to balance that Mars and Venus within you. We've got a lot of Mars energy here and then we move into the outcome. Uh, the advice and the outcome is very Venusian, it's very Venus. So it's, 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 it's being electric but magnetic. And when you're electromagnetic, you bring in everything that you desire. Your outcome is the Magician is the empress is the six of cups so the reason why i, I thought the sun was going to be uh, near, near the top is um the six of cups is sun in scorpio so the sun meets death death is in the crossing position and it's like that in in the traditional tarot the death card there's a bit there's a bit of an argument in the death card is the sun rising or is it setting and i believe you get to choose that one you know we can look at we can look at the pain of Three of Swords and we can see the sun setting. We can look at the Three of Swords and see um, the pain of the Three of Swords and see the sun rising. You get to choose. There's, um, you know, difficult times. Uh, yes, they're challenging, but they can also lead to change behaviours. They can also lead to um, change in, in emotions, in boundaries, in overall outlook of life. And whatever's gone on here, you're going to be actually glad of whatever this is. Like I said, for the, I would say for the for the good majority of you with the hangman being here in the recent past, which is a new perspective, I believe the tumultuous, real heavy energy is already done. And you, you're going to hit that appreciation for having gone through it. I hope that makes sense. So I want to see where the sun is, definitely. I definitely want to see where the tower is because we've got that Mars energy three times. And there was one more that I wanted to see. What was it? We'll check out you guys as well because Six of Swords is Mercury in, uh, in in Aquarius, which is Magician meets the Star. Oh, how, how weird is that? You know when I said that it would be near the front, uh, the Sun card, and I listed, I went through a lot of cards into it. It was the next one. <laughs> page of what the Sun is with the Page of Wands and the Fool. The Fool is an Aquarian energy. It's Uranus. It, there's good news that's a waste. This 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 energy is shifting a lot of things. It's it's like it's giving you a brand new respective perspective on your past, and it's like it's like making peace, making peace with your past, or making peace with whatever's taken place. Ooh, look at 
look at that. We've got the Emperor with the world. So this Two of Wands uh, is the uh, Tower meets the Emperor. So whatever the shift is, it's, it's aligning, especially with the Empress being in the outcome. The world and the Emperor for me is, is, is representing the birth of the new masculine. You know, the masculine that's there to support the Empress energy. Um, you know, doesn't fear the feminine. Um, you know, there's a lot of sort of patriarchy for, for the last sort of couple of centuries, um, which have, you know, demonised the, the, the feminine just through fear, you know. Uh, something that can create life uh, in darkness um, has, has shed a lot of fear in, uh, um, in, in the patriarchy. But this, this is a rebirth of a new masculine, the masculine that's strong, that's there to embrace the freedom of the empress, if that makes sense. Does in my head, so you better keep up with me. <laughs> okay. Star card is with the King of Cups and the Five of Cups. There's massive healing, fears of abandonment. Um, all these things are just getting thrown out the window. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Tower is with the Eight of Swords. So there's a dramatic turn of events here that's going to shine a light. It's going to bring you away because you're hiding behind the Three Swords here. The root of the matter is pain. You're hiding behind some sort of pain for whatever that is. I, I don't know why. It's going to be different for all of you. But the, the Jupiter with the Shake Up here, which is, okay, it's Mars, but it's, it's the lightning aspect of the Tower is, is very Uranus. Um, there's a dramatic shift of energy here. And what it's going to do is, is free this, this Three of Swords. And then if we free the Three of Swords, what are we left with? We're left with the Five of Swords. And what's that? Yes, in the traditional sense, it's, 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 it's arguments and, and things like that. In this sense, in this reading, especially with the Empress being in your outcome, it's Venus in Aquarius. The Empress meets the Star card. The, you know, the healers, the true healers are, are the Divine Feminine, um, and, and, and no offense to to masculine healers, but the natural the natural healers tends to be uh, that feminine touch. Um, it's like a, a rebirth here. Whatever's taking place, you're going to be thankful for. Um, like I say, for the majority of you, this has already taken place. For those of you, you're in the middle of a transition. For some of you, you might be heading into a bit of tumultuous time. But ultimately, I just need you to remember the outcome. Magician, Emperor, Six of Cups. Say no more. Okay. In your extended... Uh, so again, so this could be a lot of... Uh, you know, the Empress does represent the fourth house of home. Uh, it's also the mother. So it's, it all fits. You know, this, this energy is it's either bringing the past, especially with the Six of Cups energy. It's very nostalgic. Um, let let whatever comes up during this time come up ready to be healed ready to be transmuted um, bottom of the deck temperance temperance is um, Sagittarian energy it's alchemy it's being able to turn pain into power fantastic in your extended we're going to look at what the tower is this ten of cups in the, t in the two of wands like I said we're, we're in the ten of cups energy now with Mars in Pisces beginning of May we move into the two of wands energy with Mars in Aries so it it's definitely happening within the next sort of six months. You're going to, six months, six weeks, you're going to see, six to eight weeks, you're going to see these energies play out where you start having a different perspective and then you start opening yourself up to the magician and the empress, which is fantastic. Lovely. In your extended, we're going to take a look at that tower. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. Mercury in Aquarius, Scorpio, Saturn in Libra, Pisces, Mars in Pisces, Mars in Aries, Mars in Gemini, Scorpio and um, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Sun in Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, Saturn in Pisces, Mercury in Taurus, Leo, Jupiter in Capricorn, we have swords, we have cups, we have wands, we have... Do we not have pentacles? We do, eventually. Okay, everyone's here. Those of you standouts, take care. See you soon.